Hello everyone, I'm back to doing map requests for this month. I'm gonna take on as much as I can. Of course, I'm trying not to overload and, and get too stressed, but I'm gonna to try and complete as much as I can. I know that people like creators have been patient. The wait's over, you can now send me your requests. At least as of today, this month of, of April 2022. Probably won't be able to do it next month, I'm not sure yet. Anyway, uh, this is also my second take of Full Metal Jacket, this map, because the f of it ended up going over my video time limit, and I didn't catch it until I was, I was near done the mission. I didn't figure out that it went over the time limit, so... I've already seen this beginning part, and you can see that guy's chain there. Now, fortunately, though, what the footage that I did lose, and that did go over the time limit, the stuff that I lost, and the battles hadn't actually started yet. I hadn't started fighting anybody, so I'm, just, I'm gonna bring us to that point, and then it's just gonna go back to the footage that it was originally supposed to be. And uh, what the hell is going on with that chain? What is what is wrong with that heavy gunner's chain? That, that that must be some really strong wind that's being blowing right now. That's some strong wind happening. Let's <laughs> turn on <laughs> the chains like that. No, I don't think it's the wind force. I think it's just the things glitching. Oh, the ominous loadout choices. Yep, all these things. Yes, I did pick loadout number three my first time. It didn't really matter. They're all the same anyway, or at least I'm assuming so. You get all these guns that you can choose from. You get the you get the BP2, which is my favorite assault rifle, but it's actually one that I did not use during this mission because I went in the, with the mindset that the map was going to be tough. The map was going to be ex extreme because this creator does have a reputation, the, the one that made this map. And I actually went with the AKM, and, and it turned out that this was the most broken gun if this was supposed to be a difficult mission, that this AKM should not have existed at all. Uh, but I did. I took it. I, I went with that. Um, I did pick up a shotgun, and, and I know that I did end up using one, but for the most part, it was just the AKM that I used the entire mission. And I, that was the only one that really mattered at that point. Uh, well, that, this is it. This was my loadout. This is what I went in. That's what I used. And then you slide down here. This is great. You can't get back up once you go in on it. It's it's like a design is a big slide. You can't go back up. Well, maybe you can go back up, but it's so tedious and it's not worth the effort. Now, after you come out here, you come to this spot and all the enemies are out there. They're all located. And this is the part where my footage was still picked up, at least around here. So I'm going to bring us down to that gameplay and continue on. So enjoy the map, guys. Even though a lot of it's going to be on fast motion, which you'll end up seeing. I ended up sliding down, and that container is so small that oh, I don't think I'd be able to jump trick back up. This looks like it was properly playtested. Oh, and then there's guys up top, too. There's enemies everywhere. You're a sniper. Yes, you are. Oh, and you are a heavy gunner. So this spot would be okay until a Jacob shows up. No, wait, Jacob won't show up. He'll come and then he'll run away because he's programmed to try and go for snipe attacks. So this will be okay right here until a flamethrower shows up. Then it all comes to matter of it's my gun loaded at the time. Let's try and get a few more targets marked before I get started. You know what? No, it's fine. It's fine. There's ammo here that I think infinitely spawns. Or is just set to a long spawn. Yeah, no, it's just infinite spawns. So there's always ammo at present. Alright, uh, I'm gonna move in. Moving in. Gonna check a look around the map. Check the map out a little bit more. It's a very small area. I can see that a lot of enemies are on the map from the very beginning. I'd like to see what else is up ahead, if I can. Do I have rocks? No, I don't. I truly began with nothing. So it's gonna be difficult to cause a distraction. Or at least throw down a distraction to be able to get this done. So many snipers are everywhere. They're like everywhere. And why do I get this feeling that the enemies are just going to attack through the wall? My paranoia is kicking in now. I'm getting paranoid. And I probably shouldn't be. But we know there are heavy gunners. We know there's heavy gunners around. And I'm sure that this spot is not going to work. That camping spot that I'm at right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. But there might be a camping spot somewhere on the map that I can use to my advantage. Just not that one. You know, I might lose a life trying to do this, but let's run in. 
What? You're joking me. I managed to sneak by them successfully. You're kidding me. Oh, there's an attack dog. And the, the, the stealth is over. No attack dogs! Leave me a bleed! Do I have any med kits? I got one med kit. Nope, nope, run back to the spot that I thought was gonna be a dud. I got no choice now. There we go, one by one. They get taken out. Wow, that's a lot of doggies. How come the doggies aren't staying? And now do I get this feeling that that M was not supposed to infinitely spawn? I don't know, it's just a feeling. Something nasty's coming. I know that something nasty will happen at some point. What I'm predicting is that this is a spawn point of enemies. Wait, they're not coming? Can't stop until a fire. Well, it turns out I'm wrong. They don't see through these uh, objects here. They're the structures, the train tracks here. They can't see through. They can't see through, so I got that going to my advantage for now. But this is not always going to be a safe spot. I'm predicting that it'll be dangerous at some point in the mission. Also, there's an enemy right behind me. Oh, you're a heavy gunner. Okay, well, I want to take up the heavy gunner. I want his gun, but I probably won't get it. At least he's down now. With that guy down, it'll be a little bit safer for me to use this as a more of an open spot. Please tell me that this is not a checkpoint right here. Well, it seems like that's the full extent of the camping spot. You're able to just stay here all the way up to enemy number 32-ish. Somewhere around there. I killed enough to make sure that the ground forces were still spawn in, so then I just pick off the ground forces one by one. Now, give or take, there's still at least four more ground forces that are going to spawn in, possibly, because I haven't taken out enough enemies to stop the wave from spawning. But I've definitely gotten this far. And yeah, this camping spot seems to be really strong. I half expected enemies to spawn here 
and to be able to throw the player off, but no, they didn't happen. It didn't happen. And then uh, <laughs> it, you're able to stay here for most of the beginning of the game. Well, from the beginning, just to go near the end. Go all the way close to the end. Anyway, I gotta move out now and find at least one new enemy. A lot of the enemies are just heavy gunners from above to make sure that the players get detected. The only way to get them is to shoot them, so... And again, it's done just to make sure that you get detected. If you're playing this on co-op, then oh man, you got a big hill to up climb because having that extra HP to sponge bullets definitely helps in the mission like this. So I don't know how people are going to deal with this on co-op, but single player, this is actually... I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's not hard. As far as scenery goes, it looks beautiful. It's like I'm playing in an abandoned train yard. Why are you not shooting me? Sorry, what are you doing? Is your gun jammed or something? Did you forget that I'm the enemy? I'm, I'm not Joseph. I'm not on your team. Maybe you've had too much bliss in your system. Well, if you want to, just stay there. Let me pick you off. That'll work too. And he's done. Next enemy, please. The ground forces, are you, st are you coming now? Oh, no, no, they're going to send another sniper. Another sniper. I do not have binoculars to go and mark targets. Right, i got to do this the hard way. I haven't yet seen Jacob, but I've heard one of the seeds in the background. I know there's at least one seed. I've heard one. Oh, there's a sniper, and there's another sniper gone. I have to run back because there may be more ground forces. There's still two more enemies that haven't spawned in yet. Two more enemies left that have spawned in. I don't know what's coming. I've had to deal with three or four flamethrowers, and I've had to deal with a few ground force heavy gunners. Well, they, they ended up dropping dead before they even reached me. This, uh, oh, th this very accurate AKM definitely helped. Yeah, th th I, this, this mission made me realize how so much bad, how, how much more accurate this AKM is to the ARC rifle, even though the ARC rifle it does more damage over time if all bullets connect. It, the recoil is just so aw so bad that it's not reliable compared to the AKM. But yeah, the AK-47 is still has better. It still has less recoil than the AKM, but the AKM is still really good. So me getting a hold of this AKM definitely made this mission much easier. And if my advice, if you're going for a difficult game, you want to go for a difficult, you're definitely going to have to take out the AKM. It's just too strong. It's too strong for, for, for expert and professional players. Although, if you're, play, if you're talking about expert and professionals, then you have to take out all the loads from the start. In which case, of course, that means your, the star rating goes down. But then again, this will be a dirty move, but the, the, this map has already collected its views and star ratings now that it would be able to apply the edits and get away with it. Yeah, I don't know if anyone's ever thought about that. Collect your star rating early and then edit the map afterwards and change it. It's, it's a pretty scummy move when you think about it. Pretty scummy move, but yeah, this map has collected all that it can get now. I do not recommend doing it, though, because that's very deceiving. It's very deceiving, and if people find out that you're doing it, then it's, it's going to give you a negative rep. So don't do that. But yeah, if you ever may redo this map, you ever redo it? The AKM definitely has to go if you're going to make it a difficult map. But then again, this was tagged hardcore and not difficult. So it, maybe it's not supposed to be difficult. Anyway, it looks like ground force enemy isn't a ground force enemy. It's just a dude that's camping up above. Well, I can deal with that. So it looks like it's just every enemy above now. Are you a sniper or are you Jacob? No, you're not doing enough damage to be a Jacob. You are just an ordinary sniper, dude. But like I said, I have no idea how co-op players are going to deal with this other than, well, you know, shoot one enemy at a time. But damn, they're going to take so much damage and die so easily on this. Having that extra HP definitely helps. Oh, the flamethrower here. It's from one of the enemies I took out during one of the fast motion zones. Well, now I have a flamethrower, and I know what I'm going to use it on, too. 
But for now, I'm just gonna have to kill grind these guys that are camping up above. I can't move in yet, it's not safe enough. So my plan's on the flamethrower. I'm gonna try and use it on Jacob, because otherwise it's just gonna take so many bullets to take him out otherwise. Jacob's my main target. He's my main target for the flamethrower. There's really no point using on a heavy gunner because they are so fire resistant. Alright, there's... Come Jake. Oh, there's these, this heavy gunner here too. There's so many heavy gunners on this map. I don't know why people like using them so much. <laughs> well, I guess it's because they have so much more HP than the others. They're the only one that can actually battle at a medium's range, or at least have any sort of range attacks at all and still have HP. More than the average, so I suppose that's why people like them. Where's Jacob? Oh, I see him. I see him. Wait, is that a second Jacob? Oh, there's another Jacob on the map. You tell me there's more than one Jacob? There's more than one Jacob on the map. Uh, that they, they've stopped searching. Got him. And he's done. Oh, come on. Burn him. Just burn him. Burn him. Burn him. And got him. He's done. I pretty much won this mission now. It's just only a matter of time. I need to wait until they lose me because I can't see where they're going to be aiming. I know there's at least one more Jacob. I do not know if there's a third. I've taken out one Jacob of, of two that I know of. There might be a third. I wouldn't put it past the map. Oh, there is a third. Keep hunting. And it's telling me there's another enemy over in the southwest area of my compass. But I don't see anything. Just find him! Oh, and there's a he another heavy gunner. Well, this heavy gunner is one I'm definitely going to have to shoot. Oh, this is another tedious thing. This is so, it's so tedious just taking all these enemies out one by one, because I know that I'm safe, and I know that I can do it no problem from here at this point. It, it's pretty obvious that I'm going to win, especially with the infinite spawning ammo that's happened at the beginning, which I'm pretty sure was an accident. I'm sure that, that infinite spotting ammo at the start was an accident. Got him, finally! There he is. Now, I don't know who that enemy is in the corner of the southwest, because I still haven't been able to see them. Alright, they stop looking for me now. And now that they're not looking, I'm going to move in and hopefully find my last enemy. I want to see what they are first before I decide on a battle plan. I don't know who what enemy it's going to be. Very good chance that they're located above. Okay, well, I'm still not going to go. Whoever they are, they're up there. They're up top, so... Place your bets, everybody! Is it another heavy gunner? It's definitely not a seed. Are they a heavy gunner? Who knows? But I do know I need to see them. I need to go get to them. Where is he? I managed to climb up here. I'm climbing up on top of this platform. I'm not safe now because I'm coming up here and putting myself in a vulnerable position. I'm in an unfamiliar zone. So now there's an actual chance that I could lose this. Oh, and, oh it is another Jacob. Five Jacobs? Are you serious, man? Yeah, that's right. I punched Jacob and knocked him off. No one's going to help him. So it's just these three now. I've already won, as you can tell. Now oh, I'm, pr I'm pretty safe, because I can just stay here and well, just take them up one by one. I'm actually going to shoot this Jacob. Or at least attempt to. And boom, Jacob is done. Jacob is down. Two Jacobs left. Can I climb this? Yes, I can. 
Can I climb this? Yes, I can. Uh, I want to separate the Jacobs. I don't want them together. Oh, well, I got a med kit. I haven't used my med kit during the entire game. Haven't had to. There hasn't been enough danger. Can you please go just go and dying so I can actually experiment? Oh god damn it! I tried to take them out and they ended up reviving each other. Okay, well let's see what a shotgun I mean, Jacob's like. It's actually not very effective. He's pretty resistant to shotguns. Rapid fire weapons is one of the better weaknesses. It does more. Oh, he's down. There we go. Got him. He's down. Now I just gotta take out the last one. You. Going to dying. Jacob, please, just going to dying. There we go. He's down. That's done. I've won. I've won this mission, and I'm trapped in here permanently. Yeah. Yeah. My thoughts. Very good cosmetic lies, very good for battles. Probably not enough secrets. You probably you should add some more secret weapons inside the crates if you want to well it, it gives a p sense of purpose for players to look around on the map and actually go and explore. Everything's empty, so they're just only focusing on the battle and they're probably not going to pay much attention to uh well the, the scenery. It's just they're just going to go for the enemies. So okay, give them, a, give players more of a reason to look around if it's not supposed to be difficult. If it is supposed to be difficult, you gotta take out the, the AKM. That's just too strong. Cause it's way too accurate of a gun. Way too accurate. And I'll definitely take out the infinite spawning ammo too. Cause it, the, that way players can't just camp there in the beginning. But yeah, that's it. That's the mission. All done. Egyptian Chaos! Well, that is definitely an interesting name, especially since I welcome the fact that chaos is a thing. Especially since I serve a girl named Ethel. It has always been my life devotion to make sure that Ethel gets what she wants, and she wants to see things die. Gameplay modifiers, friendly fire, no fall damage, infinite ebo, highlight NPC, hunter's instinct. My instincts are telling me that this really will be chaotic like it says. I put out a lot of hype on this map. Don't fail my expectations. Let's begin. Marksman, Bandit, Knight, Horus. Well, Infinite Ammo is turned on, I believe. I've already forgotten the load of, or forgotten the modifiers. Yes, I've got that short term of memory. Yes, it is. So, it doesn't matter what loadout I pick, I have infinite explosive arrows. And infinite bombs and infinite bait. So, it's really what kind of chaos do I want to cause? Well, I do like the idea of summoning animals just to watch some more fighting. We can go and spectate that, but no, I'll go, I'll go with random like I normally do. The random has chosen Horus. And we begin! So, I'm going to point out something with this. I'm sure that you want me to, re to read that. Uh, you know what? Fine, I'll just do it for the audience. I actually don't give a damn myself, but um, I'm going to tell you this. A lot of the players on this game, they do not speak the same language. So even if you type in a message, they may not be able to read this anyway. Well, I'm just going to point that out. But yeah, I've shown it on screen now. That's as good as I can get. Well, I might be able to park a car and then do a bird's eye view. There, that's what the message looks like for anyone that cares. I actually don't. I'm not going to even bother reading it. So there you go. That's what it is. Yeah. I'm going under the assumption that I cannot speak English or that I cannot read English. I can't read at all, that's what we're gonna do, because that way I can experience the map the way that every other player experiences it. And when I say that, I mean, I'll just play the game. Oh, look at this, I just found a helicopter on the map. Oh, this map's gonna be over soon, by the looks of things. If I get to this helicopter, then this is gonna be a really, really grindy short game, and I'm gonna be very dissatisfied. This better not be the case. Come on, don't make this easy. Come on. Come on, tell me that the helicopter's not real. It's not real. It never existed. Please tell me that it's fake. The helicopter's fake. And, oh, no, you can't get it because it's out of bounds. It's going to send me back. Wait, wait, I might be able to get it anyway. I might be able to. Might be able to. And, and uh, yeah, I'm able to. Okay, well, 
I, I, I still can't believe that creators still send me maps of the instant wing helicopters. It's, 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 you figure that by now they realize that yes, the vehicle is too overpowered. The auto, the auto repair perk is too strong in this game. We're all in agreement with that. The auto repair perk probably should not even be a thing on Far Cry 5. It shouldn't even exist because it just, when, once the player gets in the helicopter, they ain't being taken down unless they get hit by a fire arrow or they end up getting hit by a rocket launcher. Or a gun turret from another vehicle. That can also work. Oh, speaking of which, I better destroy these vehicles. Let me take out the vehicles so that they can't use them against me. There. They're gone. Vehicles are gone. What else they got? Do you have anything now? Or do I just get a checkpoint? Is that it? Did I win? Yeah, I'll fly around on this map. Look for more stuff. There might actually be some other uh, things that I can use. They're not aiming their snipers at me, despite knowing where I am, so that makes me worried that they are rocket launcher guys. And in which case, I will not be in the safe zone. I will not be safe. I will not be cleared an instant win. Maybe they are rocket dudes, but for some reason they're not firing. Or they're distracted by the birds that are in the sky. Uh, now, I don't see any more vehicles. That looks like it's it. I blew up all the important ones, so now they don't really have any way to fight me anymore. I got hit by one fire arrow while I was flying around in this helicopter, and I got attacked by a rocket launcher dude, but that was the full extent of the danger. That was it. The helicopter had this mission won. It's too strong. My professional opinion on this map is that there's no saving it. The map's a flop. It's a overall a bad idea. And I'll explain why. Um, well, the first off, the map is way too big. It uses pretty much everything of the world, even, even though it doesn't really have to. You don't need this much to build a map or build a battlefield. You don't need to use the entire landscape. Just take part of the landscape, then seal it off the rest with invisible walls or, or actual walls and mark it without a bounds. You don't need to use the entirety of a map to tell your story. You really don't. So that's the first negative thing. The second thing, obviously, it's the big helicopter. And that's going to be the reason what leads to the final rating. Because if you take up the helicopter, it's it's definitely below average to the point where it's it's still bad. But with this helicopter, it's just a killing blow. It's, a, it's, a, it's the death blow. It's the suicide, if you will. Yeah, there's not enough detail put in the map either. Not enough detail. Like, there is detail here, as you can see. There's like trees, and well, for some reason, there's grass growing in the middle of a pathway. I don't know how that came to be, or a bush growing in the middle of the pathway. But it's like missing like fences around houses, and some of these houses just look like they're placed around for no reason. I, I don't know. It's just it's, they're they're just there for the sake of being there, rather than being there to be a coordinated city. Or town, or whatnot. And they're just there for that reason. That's it. It's, they're just placed there. So yeah, yeah, it just feels out of place how this uh, this town's set up as far as that detail goes. Anyway, that's all my professional opinion on this map is. That's it. it. It's a failed idea overall. Also, the map takes too long to beat. 91 enemies. People are going to be bored by the time they reach 30. This helicopter is the killing blow to this map. Get that garbage out of here. Instead of improving the map, you should just move on. Take it, this uh, information for what it is. That way when you design your next map, it'll be much, much better. It will be better. I have no doubt that whatever you make next is going to be better than this. Absolutely no doubt. Military Swamp Base! So I'm going to be going against a big fight. Maybe this is boot camp or a training. I'm learning. I'm gonna get my skills up so that I can go and do some real combat. 
No, I'm not doing real combat. I'm just saying. Get into the roleplay habit here, guys. Gameplay modifiers. No fall damage. Infinite ammo. Highlight NPC. Ooh, infinite ammo. That is going to be very helpful. So it's outpost, which means it's supposed to be more about stealth and reconnaissance and taking out your enemies undetected. And if you cannot do that, then you're supposed to take out the alarms undetected. And obviously the first one's a joke loadout because there's no silent weapons here. Uh, you can go ahead and think of the aluminum bat as a silent weapon, but really, no, it's just reduced noise. It's not silent. Uh, the AK-47, yeah, wow, that's really powerful. And then there's the snipe. Well, this is pretty much the winner right here. This is what everyone's going to be picking, just because long-range one-hit kill sniper rifle. And yes, it's one-hit kill on infinite ammo, because if you put the piercing ammo in, then you can just one-shot everybody that isn't a seed. A seed will just go into dying, but everything else dies in one hit. Oh, do I go with the joke loadout for the hell of it? I normally do in this case. You know, yes, I do. We'll go with the joke loadout for now. For now, until we know what we're dealing with. This is just an experiment. Oh, I like this already. It already began me right in the middle of the combat zone, which is better than I can say what most maps do. Oh, well, how are you supposed to get through this undetected? How, how are you supposed to start this mission undetected? That, that was quick, man. So I do like how it put me very close into the action, like it just put me right in there instead of making me have to travel like most outposts do. I'm proud about that, but I'm also disappointed at the same time because uh, if you don't move right away, you instantly get detected and then basically your outpost has become an assault at that point. And that is going to throw a lot of new players off. That's going to be very disorienting for new players and it may be uh, misinterpreted. And they may it, it may deceive them into thinking that it's something that it's not, that it's that this is not that they may think that this is how outpost is supposed to be. So uh, my advice, if you're going to improve this map, definitely move that first enemy at the starting area, move them in a position where they don't go and see the player right away. Give players enough time to be able to look around first. Uh, so that, well, that way they don't just get detected right away so that they can get time to go and play it as the way the outpost is supposed to be intended. If that is how it's supposed to be intended, you're supposed to be detected right away, then that is bad design for an outpost mission. Uh, with that in mind, let's continue now. So, I know that that enemy is going to be coming outdoors. I have to move quickly or he's going to detect me. If I move quick enough, I can... Oh, God. There's another one? I'll try moving the opposite way now because it seems that going forward just gets me detected. Let's try going into the woods, into the wild, wild woods. And I'm in the swamp land. I'm getting shades of how I've how I've been venturing in the copy pasted swamp land. Yeah, the, the, it's a preset template that players are able to set in, and I'm getting flashbacks of that right now. This is looking very familiar to that. Um, not this lake here. This one actually looks like it was changed a little bit. Uh, yeah, I've run out in the middle of nowhere. The enemies will now have time to move around, and I get to, I had to actually move away from... Apparently, I was moving away from the base. Didn't realize I was going away from it. Oh, grass is growing in the water. Apparently, the grass can live underwater. They don't need oxygen or anything. Their oxygen comes from soil. It comes from the mud that's in the water. Okay, so I've had enough time to get my bearings now, to look around, to know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I can go in and get that alarm. Maybe they'll let me get in. For anyone who's not aware of the outposts, yeah, outposts are generally slow-paced. They're like that on purpose. Because you're supposed to complete the mission undetected. What is this guy doing? Is he t trying to take a whiz? Is that what it looks like when he's taking a whiz but censored? Well, if it isn't, I don't want to know what he's doing. But he's down. And, oh, well, it, it can't be any better. Oh, there's a tree growing through the stairways. That's that's always nice. Tree is growing through that stairway. <laughs> Okay, here's my first... Oh, well, I wanted to get my first one. Man, grass going through the floor. Grass is taking over this concrete flooring. Somehow that guy didn't even notice that his friend is down. Yeah. I'm noticing all these little small issues. All these little small cosmetic issues that aren't really impacting the gameplay all that much. Although the tree is impacting the gameplay. That guy can't even get down from the steps. He's just trapped up there. I swear, I thought I, that that same dude was the one that detected me in the second game. I thought he did get down. Maybe not. Maybe it was just some other guy. Maybe it was someone else. Uh-oh, this building's going to be entered. Step on in. I've got to take down for everybody. 
That's three people down. Looking good already. Still don't know how many alarms are left. Can I actually get this alarm now, or am I going to get detected? Get it, get it, get it, get it, yes! Two alarms remaining. That's a good alarm count, actually. At least for single player. For co-op, it depends. We haven't seen the rest of the map yet. I thought this flag was floating, but no, there's like ropes. Uh, I can not even see the ropes. Never mind, there is no ropes. Thought there was. No, that, that flag really is just floating in the air. <laughs> All these small things, man. All these small things. Yeah, I'm ready. What can I do from here? There's no way I can get rid of this guy without being detected. Unless I can climb up on the roof of this. Can I climb up on this? Oh, yes, I can. Alright, I can get him after all. Climb up, climb up. Aha! I'm coming behind you, guys. Or this dude. You, you. Want me to jump on? You know, I don't want to jump. I don't want to risk it. I'll just do the takedown the normal way. And now you become one with the tree. One with the tree and whatever this is I'm standing on. Oh, yes. You, you're one and together with each other. And now that that's happened, I can continue on. We can explore more of the mission. We can see more of this. More. I need to find out where the alarms are. There's at least two more somewhere around here. I can't see them. They're supposed to have a green light in the air. Well, I almost got detected. Still safe. Still safe. For quality reasons, I actually do believe that the highlight NPC is helping this mission. Because there's a lot to look around. There's a lot to explore. Do I have binoculars? What was the point of giving me binoculars if I, if I if highlight NPC was turned on? Well, I guess you can, in co-op, you could mark each one as priority targets and all. And I guess that's the only point of giving binoculars. Hold on, guys, one moment. All right, we're good. I just had to replug my microphone. It was going all static. I'm all good now. Let's continue on. This woman has moved from her spot. This woman is taking a nap. You didn't see the woman go to sleep. No, you didn't. You didn't see anything. I'm starting to think these NPCs are blind. They can't even notice a single of a, a random person just coming up behind and neck breaking. They can't notice that at all. It's broad daylight out here, everyone. Why? Oh, there, there's grass floating in the air. A little bit of random cog pallet here that's just floating. Yeah, yeah, that's the result of putting a hill there. Or at least trying to alter the terrain that way. You have to be really nitpicky to notice these things. You have to be extremely nitpicky to pick these stuff up. They pick these small things. And generally, most creators, when they see it in the video, they're like, Oh, man, why didn't I think of that? Uh, that, that happens quite frequently. More often than what most people think. Yeah. I don't know if this map is going to be improved upon or edited later, but... At least the video gives an idea. I guess create a general idea of what they could do next time or what they can go in and fix. Especially if something is broken. If something bro broken to the point where it can be reported, then yeah, they... they <laughs> not 95% of the time they go in and fix it. I wish I could say 100%, but no, some creators are just too lazy to bother. They just, they're okay with it being reported and taken down and and whatever else comes. But so far, this map, it's alright. I haven't seen any super issues aside from the tree growing through the uh, that and blocking the NPC's path, but that's that's just what it is. That's just what it is. There's a guy up there. He's camping up top. The only way I can get him right now with while staying undetected is to use my grapple hook and climb up. If I do that, he'll detect me right away because he's looking in that spot. Maybe I can gra grapple from behind. No, I cannot. There's no way for me to get him right now. I get to stay up there for all of eternity for the time being or until I find the alarms. There's a very high chance I'm going to start treating this like an assault the moment I get all the alarms. The moment I take out all the alarms, I'm probably going to be done with stealth because that's a lot of enemies. 20 enemies, but that's a good amount of enemies for co-op at least. That is a good enemy count for co-op. Not as much for single player. For single player, probably a little bit less than this, but you, you gotta make the map with the consideration of both players. Since you have no idea if the game is going to be played on single player or if it's going to be played on co-op. You have no idea if people are going to do that. So you gotta prepare a map for both in most scenarios. 
If only there was a way to set it up so that you could, uh, that players could only play this map on co-op or, or only play this map on single player. That would have been cool. That would have been a nice feature. But no, it didn't happen, so we gotta prepare for both. Well, I, I've been undetected for a long time now. Usually this is where my luck runs out because I'm opening my mouth at the moment. I've opened my mouth and that usually means Jinx is going to come in and try and screw me over. There's another one down. Oh, he's got a flamethrower. Do I want the flamethrower? I got an incinerary shotgun and I already have a fire weapon on my right. No, I don't need the flamethrower. I'm good. I, I will move the body though so it takes longer for the enemies to detect it. Well, I attempted to move the body. Nobody's gonna notice that, right? Right? Yeah, no one's gonna see that. At least I hope no one will see that. It's this person right here, they're just standing there, they're not moving, they're not doing anything. Well, that works out for me. I can actually get behind them and get an another enemy to my kill count at and increase. One alarm left. Only one alarm left to take down. No, 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 don't detect me. I, I, I've gotten this far already. I don't want to lose it now. No, no, do not get me detected. I want to just do this mission without getting the alarm turned on now that I've come this far. I've come so far in this mission. I just need to find that last alarm. They could be anywhere. I can't even see. Oh, they found a body. They found the body, guys. I better get myself scared. Oh, there's the alarm! Last alarm! Okay, I don't care if they find me anymore. I see the last alarm. If I take that out, then I can just do this mission much, much faster. I don't care if I get detected anymore now that I've gotten this last alarm, and boom! That's it! This is now an assault game, and we get to listen to people scream. Although there's going to be Far Cry 5 music in the background, but at least we get to hear people scream. Burn! Ha 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 ha! That is your fate! That is what you were made for! You were made to burn! The fire is out of control! The fire is out of control! I am the fire! <laughs> Guys, there's water that you- Dude, there's water right there! You don't have to run towards me! No? Alright. I guess I'm that important. I'm more important than water. See, this woman, yeah, she's just running towards me, too. What if I run in the water? Then what will she do? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't make it to the water in time. Oh, man. This game, man. This game. Oh, gotta be careful. There's snipers on the map. I don't have a sniper. I don't have a sniper to be able to do this. Okay, let's watch you... Flawlick around on top of the water shore. Come on. Oh, you didn't even make it to the water shore. You almost did. You almost did. Oh man, that gave me an idea. The next time I'm on co-op and I get a fire weapon and we get to battle Jacob, I should set one on fire and then... Oh, no, I'm dead. I should set Jacob on fire and then have my co-op partner punch Jacob into the water and see if he survives or puts out the flames. Jacob theoretically would have enough HP to survive a punch for sure. So, yeah, I'm, we'll actually see an enemy on the water, on fire and everything. The other enemies would probably just collapse dead. But Jacob would be able to take the punch, so. Yeah, that'd be something to experiment on. That's what I want to do so when I ever get, get the chance. The hell? They heard something. They actually heard noise. I'm not sure what they heard, but, well, there's here's me teleporting through a tree, taking out that enemy. Oh, there's a sniper. You know what? I'll take the sniper just because I actually have range with this now. I actually have range now with my guns, my weapons. Still going to go with the same plan. I want to take out the alarms before I start my gun combat. I'm going to be more careful this, this time. I was just playing as an idiot at the moment and kind of distracted with the flames that are that were burning everything. If it wasn't for that, I'd probably be okay. This dude's probably gonna find the body soon. I can't take him up though, otherwise his partners will see it. it. Doesn't look like I can get away with it. I know where all the alarms are though, though. You know what? I've got an idea. I have an idea. Let's run this way. 
And boom, I went around and I'm inside the base. This base is not very well fortified. Anything could just walk around and instantly get inside. It's not a very well fortified base. Yeah, that's just what it is. There, one alarm left. And I have visual on that, uh, that last alarm too. And that's it. All alarms down. All alarms disabled. They haven't detected me yet. They're probably looking for me now, though. They're looking. They're looking. They're looking, but they won't find anything. I think this sniper is what took me out last time. I believe he shot through the windows of the building. There. He can't do that anymore. He's now dead. So, now that I've made noise and everything, and they're all alerted, could I do this mission without getting detected by an enemy and the game will still award me for game or for mission complete game completed without being detected or is it going to say just no alarm because I've made noise now they're all alerted no one has seen me yet no one has seen me yet but they will eventually if I'm not careful there's an enemy up here headshot I'll see how long I can do this undetected there's no guarantees that I'll be able to. I'm giving it my best attempt now, though. Um. Shit, yeah, before I didn't care if I was the detector or not, because I was. Because I was just going to get the mission done and over with. But now. Now there's actually a reason for me to stay undetected. It's more of curiosity on what, what the mission complete screen is going to look like. So now I have a goal and purpose to stay undetected. There, that's all the snipers gone. All the snipers have been eliminated. I see there's a tower back there. There's this tower back. Oh, there's a glitchy platform something here. I think that this might have been bugged. I don't think this was intentional. That's just there. But it's accidental as part of the upload. All right. Well, that's a thing. I don't know why the tower is there. Maybe that's where enemies appear when you, get, you do get detected. But it's not going to happen on my end. I'm going to... Jacob! Jacob on a g on an outpost. Oh, dude. Wait, I should have set him on fire and punched him in the water. Damn you, Jacob. I couldn't see. I'm trying to hide from enemies. Jacob is completely underwater right now. I can't get Jacob. He's underwater and the, the bullets don't travel in the water. Wait, I can get Jacob. Just throw a bomb. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> 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 Might have shot yourself from the foot turning on infinite ammo. Jacob, just go down already. I threw like two grenades in your feet. There. There we go. Jacob's finally down. Jacob is just so tanky, man. You know, the amazing thing is I haven't been detected yet. Despite all these grenades being thrown. I still haven't been detected.
And now that I've thrown all those grenades everywhere and been chaotic, I'm just gonna run away. Oh, uh, my aggro broke. My compass is, uh, my aggro compass is broken. It's now permanently listing it. And for whatever reason, the enemies are broken too. They're shooting the water. Is there an animation point that causes enemies to shoot? Aside from the flare gun? Okay then, well that happened. Oh, no, it's not broken anymore. Enemies have started to lose me. Yes, that was an adventure! That definitely happened. That most certainly did. I still have not been detected yet. Theoretically, I've not been detected. They haven't seen me. Or at least I haven't gotten the full sound effect that happens when you get detected. The game hasn't informed me that I've been detected either. So, yes, still good. I'm disappointed I didn't get to actually punch Jacob in the water, but can't have everything. I wasn't prepared for that. I didn't expect to fight Jacob on an outpost mission. Jacob on wave one for outpost, dude. Oh, here's an enemy here. Um, in most cases, I just get inside and do a takedown, but, you know, I'll just shoot him. I think I'll just shoot him instead. And infinite grenades! This is a battlefield! The bombs are just raining from above! Run for your lives! <laughs> Bullshit! They didn't spot me! Where's my undetected winning screen? One of the big positives on this map is the amount of hiding places that exists and how the enemies can't just see you instantly and I'm sure that the uh, the darkness or at least the fact that it's not like full daylight out on this map is what's contributing to that, what's causing the enemies to not see me that easily. Uh, somehow it worked out to the benefit and it allows players enough time to be able to, well, get into a hiding position because you know, you're supposed to be undetected in an outpost, an outpost mission. So that's one big positive. Another big positive is that the alarms are not overly spammed and it feels like that they're in a position that makes sense except one area, the very beginning of the map. I don't know, that just put, it feels like that one's there for no reason, but other than that, yeah, it feels like a, a, a good count. The negatives I found on this map is this base is not very well fortified for being a base. I mean, wildlife could e very easily just enter in and then attack everybody, especially in this land when it looks like it's going to be crocodiles of some kind. Uh, another issue I found is that tree growing in the, the stairway. You know, that, that definitely needs to be fixed, if, if anything. Uh... Then there's the glitchy terrain in the corner that you can see on the northwest side of the screen. Uh, that glitchy terrain, I don't know if you're able to fix that though. There's a chance that if you try to remedy that, that it may just break even further. So my recommendation is probably just leave that alone. Let that be where it is. Another thing that might end up being an issue later is Jacob being on an outpost on wave one. Because taking him out undetected is actually quite difficult. Although, there are remedies to that. Putting the, the piercing ammo in the MBP-50 will let you take out Jacob quite easily. He should die in two or three hits. And you can do it fast enough before the player, or the player can do it fast enough before they get detected. So there's that. Another thing they can do is throw bait down. Although, I don't know if any of the loadouts have bait. Uh, it's just telling me throwing knife. There's a chance that the bait got taken out of the loadouts. But other than that, yeah. Set him on fire with incinerary shotgun. That works. That definitely takes them out. I did that. That's what I was, well, I was doing. Oh, well, anyway, those are the negatives of the outpost. But all of this doesn't matter if the enemy count doesn't make sense. So it all comes down to this. How many enemies activate once the alarm is turned on? Oh, yeah, there's also the issue of the grass going through the floor of this house. Yeah, definitely got to fix that. And the terrain of the grass just floating in the air. So here's the enemy count. Um, it increases from... 20 to 30 enemies uh, in the main campaign. That's probably what it would really be But on, on an arcade where it's supposed to be post game Where you're supposed to when you're encountering players that have already completed the game and know how everything works. I Have to say that the count of 30 is not very high 
that it actually should be higher than that as a punishment for speedrunners. That way players just don't go in and guns blazing everything. If you design this as a guns blazing, then it's the wrong game mode for that. So, lack of enemy count, believe it or not, is going to cost this map its like. And that's the end of today's video. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!